five metagame impacting themes coming out of Lightning Overdrive. What do you need to be aware of? What cool shenanigans are coming in this set? Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely excited for this. This is going to kind of overlap with the top five pickups video because, huh, who would have guessed? But different strokes for different folks. So guys, smash your everything crap out, subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more content. Let's dig on this discussion, shall we? Top five metagame impacting themes in Lightning Overdrive. Number one on our list here is everybody's favorite, Trap Tricks. Trap Tricks got eh, two important cards this set. Uh, the first one being the Link 2 in this set, which I'm absolutely excited about. Actually, I'm excited for everything in this set because it does do cool things. You're also not going to visit the Link 2 all that much, but this Link Summon card is unaffected by Trap Cards. You can only use the following effects of Trap Tricks. Uh, Calori once per turn. After you activate a whole trap card, you can set it after sending it to the graveyard. Sure, so you get a reset. That's fine. And then uh, during your end phase, you target a trap tricks monster in graveyard and special summon it. So it doesn't come up all that much, but honestly, it is something that the deck got that little extra boost for. But Vesquilio is the one we care about here. I'm so excited for her. Unaffected by the effects of trap or whole normal trap cards. And you can use each of the following effects for once per turn and only once that turn. So you can send one set trap card to the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. Okay, well, that's pretty good. And if you control no other cards in your spell and trap card zone, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one whole normal trap card in your graveyard. Send it to your field. The only thing we care about here is this is an extender for trap tricks. Huh. In what world did trap tricks actually need this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, trap tricks have bumped up the ladder here when also that means that there's synergy with the trap tricks build with the amazement package but we'll talk about the amazement package in a little bit here so for meta impact right now number one trap tricks just because that little boost in consistency in monsters really does make a difference in your game plan recursion is always a good thing all right no matter where you see it in the game oh it's absolutely value all right, now next up on this list here is Adding Nister. Now, you guys have seen me talk about Adding Nister for a little while now on this channel. You're always like, well, Robbie, you've always talked about it, but what, what's the payoff for this? So, any normal, well, actually, excuse me. If you normal summon the fire or the light, it is full combo. And full combo, they just got a link one, dark infant that searches for the field spell. And then the field spell basically allows you to start special summoning and doing all sorts of shenanigans. So I think the coolest board I've seen people end on is Dark Fluid plus the Adding Nister Link 6. And you're already like, excuse me, what? So basically you can one card combo out the Link 6. I believe it will come out at 4,000 attack points off of being fully uninterrupted. And the fact that this deck is now playable to that degree says something. We have two more lines of support coming later on, uh, one of which we'll get what, another Monster Reborn for the deck, and then we still have no confirmation whatsoever of when we will be getting the, the Heat Soul that gives this deck the ability to draw. So for now, uh, it is just one card combo, the deck, uh, but unfortunately, it is massively susceptible to hand traps. But the reason why I put it as number two on the impact list here is because if you don't open that hand trap, you're now staring at a Link 6 or whatever else they choose to do with you. If they open up really well, there's going to be a dark fluid staring you down. You're going to be like, what am, I, what am I supposed to do to this? And the answer is Kaiju at five head, duh. I, but that's that's kind of the situation we find ourselves in at, as of making this is it is kind of impactful. All right, Link One definitely did some stuff for this deck, so I'm I'm actually very happy to see where we'll be able to go going forward with this. Next up here is the Amazement Engine. So what do we got here for Amazement? So when a trap card is activated, you can summon out the Administrator. Yay! We did it. All right, cool. Now what? <laughs> so. The administrator, when the opponent summons a monster, ah, you can take one of them, their attraction trap cards, and throw it on their monster. Oh, okay, well that's cool. What else can we do? So, you get one of them that gives you the ability to search, 
Okay, so we can search for another administrator. Okay, let's go, Robbie. And then we got a book of moon. So, if you play this with trap tricks, you already have all of your whole synergy in the back row. You get the ability to, what's that, summon a 2,500 body from your hand. Oh, wait, what's, what's that? We can go even further beyond. And then we can equip a book of moon, and then we can banish stuff from the graveyard on our turn to blow up stuff of yours. Oh, okay, well, that, sure, man. That's, that's, that's pretty good, right? Like, when you already have in-house synergy with what's coming out here, that's good. Right, now, does does it get much better for Amazement in the future? And eh, you get you get another, like, special summon extender. Uh, that's, that's about it, actually. But, as of this point in time, you have a spell card that lets you search or set. You have the big administrator himself, and you have the Book of Moon trap card, and you have a trap card that searches. You basically got enough for about a 12-card engine that you can build into any trap deck and just... Mess with the opponent, all right? Is it super good, consistent tier one crazy? No. Will it make stirs in the tier two and below area? Yes, absolutely. Decks that require that normal summon that you can just mess up and interrupt off of one book of moon? Okay, sure, man, I'll take it. Free real estate, as we like to say. All right, so that's the amazement category. Now, in terms of impactful things, Scrap Raptor. All right, so... I have to put Scrap Raptor really high on this list because so many people think that this card is the savior for Orcust. Now, I hate to be that guy, but I have to. I don't think that this card deserves to be this high on the list. I'm doing this one for the community because they seem to think that this card is cr crazy. It is. Robbie, I'm let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. All right. Scrap Raptor makes my dinosaur combo deck go crazy. Oh, well, I bet. I do have a crazy dinosaur list from a friend of mine that we can walk through and talk about. And he's got all sorts of cool, crazy combos that he's done with this. Him and his friend came up with this list. I always hear about it, all right? And I've seen a little bit of it. It's pretty cool. All right, but at the end of the day, like, how much does Scrap Raptor actually fix? Orcus hasn't gotten any better on a ban list. Um, dinosaurs remain in the same state that they've been. So how much is the miss, or how, how much, how high of an impact are we expecting here? Is Scrap Raptor better than the current innovation that's going around right now? That's what, Ogdebis being merged with Orcus at the moment? I think that was the last innovation I saw, but at the end of the day, it's like, what is your high impact here? Like, how good are you expecting Scrap Raptor to bring this all together? Like, is he really that good? I'm unsure at this point in time. I think Orcus is still kind of bad in its current state, but everybody and their mother seems to think differently. So I'm going to put it high on the list here because it is an impacting card. It is something that can warp the metagame to a degree. I mean, he's just freaking Scrap Raptor, man. Like, you already know the Scrap archetype's got some badonky donk weird uh stuff going on in it so it's uh there's that and then the most impacting card in the entire set herald so also moo beta okay for drytron i know i know they kind of go together so the cool thing is if you're a megalith player hey only a year late <laughs> literally a year all right, last summer we were we were making waves with Diviner. It was it was cool, crazy shenanigans. It was it was awesome. And then a year later, huh? Well, good news is it is high impact. It it does warp the meta game. Uh, unfortunately, Ben Ten is still limited to one. So you know, Drytron's still got to fight an uphill battle from there. But at the end of the day, you know, sending from the extra deck to the graveyard to get a free search on a summon is really good. Also having access to a tuner monster to make Hulk plays is also really good. Do not underestimate what a card simply having tuner stamped on it can actually do in the game. And of course, Move Veda's pure existence just pushes up rituals. Like, as a whole, the entire ritual archetype just went boop, higher than they've been ever in their life, actually. All right, like, I would argue that, like, they're better now. Also, Diviner makes Necros way more stable actually that's a win all right so yep diviner's here and i think it's going to be the most impactful card in the set all things considered so everything else makes waves but like is it to this level 
I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So, number one is the powerhouse, Harold himself. So what do you guys think about this list? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think. Smash the share button, cry about that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 and if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.